Hello dear viewers thanks for coming by leaving what you are doing paying attention to what this old man has to say to you people who are resident in Dubai my preference for the residents of Dubai is because i myself am a resident here in this beautiful advanced city of dubai multicultural cosmopolitan different languages you cannot pass any street any back street any main road of dubai without smelling the bouquet of different countries aroma the cooking the hubbub of different languages and if some of them are wearing their national dresses it's like a bouquet of flowers different styles different cultures different people each nationality has their own way of smiling isn't that wonderful nothing is copied from one to the other every nationality every person as every person is unique so is every nationality they have their own style they have their own speeds of starting from a small smile to going to a grin and some of them even start laughing they are very easy to make them laugh they are very quick to laugh and some of these nationalities even if you are doing a dance in front of them even a comedian or a clown is there they are still frowning at you wondering how this person or these people can be so happy what is making them happy here i come now i will be telling you about happiness the i am telling you in such a way that you may understand that maybe it's my profession maybe it's a commodity i'm selling i'm trying to give you a pitch about happiness so that you will buy it from me no 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 it is not that it is pure love and feelings from my side to make you understand what life is all about if you think i am happy now it was not always so i have gone through circumstances which i pray that you never even see in your dreams life is like that the only people who are happy who feel happy who feel contented are the ones who don't give up that's the name of the game i'm giving you that secret if you give up you are gone you are a loser there are other people who will gain from you from your loss from your going away from your just giving up everything I'll tell you this. Imagine that you stop looking for anything that you have lost. If you lose something, you stop looking for it in the last place you look. Why is that? Why is it that you struggle hard continuously try to achieve something and when you give up finally give up that it's not achievable maybe it's only another day maybe another hour that you could have crossed that threshold and gone to the winning side you gave up too early too early don't ever ever give up that's the name of the game as i said If you know you are right, if you know your direction is right, if you know your feeling, your intuition, your the brain, I mean your heart and your brain are both 
synchronize they both agree yes this is what i want to do this is what i want to achieve of course it should be legal it should be achievable it should not hurt anybody it should not take anybody's right away then go for it if that makes you happy i will caution you about one thing here a hermit a beatnik a teddy boy they used to call them teddy boys in america at that time these are the hippies they are also happy they are always happy that's not where i am leading you to those people don't care for money money has nothing to do with them they are depending on other people's aid charity i hope that doesn't make you happy don't be in that tribe when money has value you have to earn enough to be comfortable you and your dependents they have rights over you if you fulfill those rights then your rights come if you are happy that you have fulfilled their rights you have supplied to them what they require your duty has been fulfilled then you look after yourself and do not keep on sacrificing every day and every night is not the same if you are what i imagine you are otherwise you would not be here listening to this old guy telling about using of his own life you can feel that there is something in what i'm saying you can achieve it also coming back to your duties you have fulfilled your duties your dependents are happy in the best of your circumstances then you look after yourself and then you find out that you yourself are not happy because you have become a a slave a robot morning to evening going to the job punching the card in punching the card out waiting for your salary that's a routine it's, that is not your fulfillment you can be happy at what you do you have to find out that what makes you happy it could be music you could be a creative person it could be drawing portraits maybe you are an artist maybe you are a genius with mathematics and you want to create some new formulas solve some new riddles which nobody has done up to now and every day people like what i have mentioned just now who have high iq even if they are making millions of dollars are never happy because that challenge is not there they need new challenges every day and those challenges if are not given to them it's like food to them if they don't get that they become hungry for new challenges and they become bored they do not like anybody's company to pass their time they need to be do achieving something every day so those are the people whom it is difficult to make them keep them happy all the time so what they do they find out their like minded company they move amongst their own high level of iq people because these people understand each other the problem comes when they are with their family with their loved ones with their relatives who do not understand them they are always reprimanded for being fidgety for being overactive hyperactive and they do not fit in into the school and class the system which we have of education nowadays advanced countries i will not call all western countries as advanced there are some who recognize this thing and they will put you in a special school that doesn't mean that you are handicapped or you are physically I mean you are challenged by mentally challenged it means that your pace the fast pace you have 
that school or that organization cannot meet the surrounding students cannot meet you are uh, an outsider you are a funny person in front of them because you are not paying attention you are distracting everybody you may be kicked out of many places whenever the teacher or the instructor is giving a lecture and all you are looking out the window imagining dreaming because you have already grasped for where that lecture will end it's too boring for you for that reason these states which i say are very advanced countries immediately recognize that and they put you in a special school where only intelligent students are put and they even do it on scholarship through the government because they need brains like these students are talking about now what do these students do uh, they have that school they are studying they are doing it as fast as they can according to their state but after that what will they do where will they get new challenges to feed on that is where i will be coming into the next lecture for the time being i am talking about those people i am addressing those people who are depressed who don't have that iq who have no future who cannot even think of where the next meal is going to come they have sacrificed they have sold their land they have taken out loans to come to dubai they thought this would go to see their fortune here they thought they will make some money and send repay the loans and send it to the family and support their family or buy that piece of land which they have put in, in uh, as a and uh, they have mortgaged that land it's not that way everybody is not lucky they are not they do not fit into the new culture the new climate the new way of business that they do here in dubai please take my advice don't be depressed don't give up i have put my phone number i think my am the only website i am the only tv channel radio channel where openly my mobile number is given if you don't call me don't blame me it's not my fault just call me i'll take it from there i'll be holding your hand don't be depressed there is nothing to be depressed about i'll be explaining this in my next session and take my advice just call me because like this i am speaking just at this camera i don't know your background i don't know what's your problem unless you don't tell me how will i know there is a saying that even a mother a mother instinctively knows what the child wants even the mother does not know when you are hungry unless you cry for me you have to tell me be bold this is the first step you will be taking the first change in your life will be that you call me and we will take it from there thank you